we're starting out getting our dinner prepped tonight for the Yoder. We've got pork chops from Fayette Pack in, in Eads, Tennessee. Um, I've got them cut. They cut them right there for me. Um, they're an inch and three quarters. So we're gonna set that Yoder to about 250, put the probe in them. And I'm gonna have a pan at the bottom underneath it that I put a beer in and some water and it creates moisture and keeps the pork chops from drying out. So I'm rubbing them down first of all with olive oil and then I'm gonna put the Steak King by Fire and Smoke on them. And it makes a really good rub. It pairs well with pork chop. And that's all you need. Then you let the smoke do the rest from the pellets on the Yoder. Flip them over and repeat the process. All right, so what we're gonna do now that we've got them all seasoned up, we're gonna let them rest um, for about, probably about an hour. Um, then we'll crank the Yoder up and put them on at 5.30. And they'll run for an hour to an hour and 15 minutes till we hit an internal temperature of 140. And the reason why, you know, pork, pork is done at 145. Once we pull them off at 140, they're gonna continue to cook another five degrees. So we wanna make sure we don't overcook them and, uh, and get them off in plenty of time. All right, so we've got our temperature set to 250, and a lot of your heat on the Yoder is right here, but I do have the little vent out to where it's supposed to cook even, which it does, and I've tested that theory. So we're gonna have an even cook on both sides. I'm gonna take this probe right here, and I'm gonna run it through the middle. You don't wanna touch the bone at all. You just wanna run it right through the middle. Like I said, once these hit 140 to 142, we're gonna pull it, and there we go. All right, so here we go. We've uh, had these on for 30 minutes. Um, they're holding a good temperature. Well, right now we we started out at 250. We're up at about mm, 260, which is fine. We have an internal temperature of 82 degrees. So what we're gonna do is go ahead and flip them and shut the lid and let the Yoder do the work. 133, dude, we're close. We're at 133. Look, I like. Do you see how I did this? I like how I moved them over that flame a little bit. Now look at that. We're getting that char on them, like we wanted. Look at that, buddy. 139, baby. I love it. Let's go shut down on time. Look at this. Look at that. Brother, if that don't make your tongue slap your brains out. Now what I like to do is like to shut her down and then let this cool off naturally. It says power off, so it's doing its own thing. And all that, that shows for tomorrow. Let's do this, brother. Little mashed taters. Mm-hmm. Eat them taters, boy, eat them taters. Oh, good night. Those are like, uh, you like that? I mean, that's bigger than me. I can't take a whole one. Well, I think I will though. John Mills, Yoder, and John if you, Mills. If you can handle that one, begging. Look at that. I'm telling you, that's a monster. <laughs>